Well, apparently five seconds is the deal breaker for some people on whether to eat food that hits the ground. But there are many other factors, experts say, that are more important than time. So does the five second rule matter? Good question. Our Jeff Wagner sinks his teeth into this theory. What's something you would get right now? Oh, uh, peanut butter filled pretzels. These, the baked cheddar and sour cream. I'm a salty kind of guy, so uh, the Jack Lynx always okay. speaks to me. Baked Lay's, huh? Uh-huh. There you go. Thank you. Sorry about that. There you go. Thank you. Oh. Oh. It's fine. Just fine. Is my wife watching this? <laughs> she might. All right. No, thank you. Why not? <laughs> Well, because, I mean, I know they're very clean here, but it's a public floor. That was about 3.7 seconds. Within five, I'm good. When someone mentions the five-second rule, what does that make you think? You know, the, the idea that you can drop food and pick it up right away and it's safe to eat uh, is, is a nice idea, but life is not that simple. Craig Hedberg is a professor at the U of M who specializes in foodborne illnesses. So is time a factor in how germs attach to food? Time is definitely a factor. Of course, the longer food sits on the ground, the more time bacteria has to get attached. I saw you drop it, yeah. so therefore I'm picking it up. If I came here and it was just lying there, for who knows how long. Yeah, no, I'm not touching that. I guess it depends on the food, too. Okay. Like if it's a meatball, I'm not gonna go <laughs> for it. Does the type of food matter that hits the floor? Absolutely. The, you know, food that is wet uh, is going to have a better ability to pick things up than dry food. Popcorn, pick it up. Piece of deli meat. That's Stan. It's not just the food, but the type of surface it hits that must be considered. Do you think there's a difference between carpet and tile floor? Oddly, I would trust the tile more. This gets cleaned every night, and I know it gets That's true. swept. Well, guys, Hedberg says carpet might actually be better because the fibers create less surface area to touch food than tile. What about outside versus inside? You can hear birds out there. You know, birds and other wildlife are uh, excreting bacteria all around us. Yeah, I'm not going to eat something I'm dropping outside. Why? Why not? <laughs> I don't know what's come across that grass. Five second rule aside, if there's one thing we should be worried about that touches our food, it's our hands. Because we're constantly touching things and contaminating our hands and then taking those hands to put food in our mouth. Jeff Wagner. So washing hands is like the, one of the most important things we can be thinking about. WCCO 4 News. And I, I knew you were picking that. Of course. Thing. It was a beef jerky, too. I mean. I would eat an egg salad sandwich <laughs> off that floor. true. It doesn't surprise me. But uh, the shape of the food is another factor, apparently, to consider. I know you don't consider anything. It I don't. Matter. No, it matter. I'm easy to believe. He said the shape matters because the surface area. So, like, how much is actually touching the ground? Like that completely flat piece of beef jerky. Yes. <laughs> there was a lot of surface area yeah. there. Moist piece of beef jerky. Uh, come on. Just stop piling on. <laughs> <laughs>